Hello, Kinder Poets. How are you? Well, yesterday we learned about our new tool, pictures. And we learned about how these pictures can help us understand more our poems. It can help us really, really see and understand what that poet is trying to tell us through his poem. And yesterday you helped me match a picture to one of the poems. But friends, today we are going to do the opposite. Instead of matching pictures to a poem, I'm going to read you a poem and I want you to draw it out. I want you to draw out everything that was in your head. So here's what we're going to do. If you're at home, you're going to grab a piece of paper. Any paper will do for this. And if you're in class, you already have it. You're going to fold this paper. And friends at home, you are going to have two sides to this paper. Now, what Ms. Orozco is going to do is I'm going to draw a line down the middle so that I know how much space I have on this side and how much space I have on that side. I'm also going to put the number one and the number two up at the top so I know which poem is for number one and which poem is for number two. Friends at school, you already have it, so your teacher's going to give that to you. Now, I have two poems that I want to read to you. Two poems. These are really cute, fun poems that I found for you that I'm going to read to you. And what your job is, is your job is to visualize. That means that you're going to close your eyes. You're going to listen to the poem, listen to the words, and in your mind, you are going to imagine that you're looking at it, that you're watching it. After you're done imagining it, you're going to take that pencil you're going to draw it out. You're going to color it out with your markers, your crayons, watercolors, whatever you want to use. And we're going to do the same thing for poem number two. Friends, if at any time you need to stop me so that you can continue with your drawing and your coloring, go ahead and pause me. When you're done with both poems, you submit them here on Schoology so that we can see the amazing visualization. That's what it's called. The amazing visualization you had while you listened to the poems. I can't wait to see what you draw. You ready for poem number one? Okay. The title is Green Giant by Jack Prilepsky. There lived a green giant whose name was Sam. His hair was the color of strawberry jam. He had one brown and one blue eye and a beard, the color of pumpkin pie. His coat and pants were oh so bright like a peppermint stick, all red and white. His socks were as yellow as lemon pop. His shoes were as brown as a chocolate drop. His hat was the color of gingerbread with a tall, tall feather of raspberry red. This poem is called The Green Giant. And friends, if you feel like you need to listen to it again, go for it. Rewind me. If you want to go ahead and get into drawing it, Pause me right here and come back to me when you're ready for poem number two. All right, friends, I'm going to move on to poem number two. You take your time and your pace. This poem is called My Neighbor's Dog is Purple, also by Jag Prelutsky. He's a great poet. My neighbor's dog is purple. Its eyes are large and green. The tail is almost endless, the longest I have seen. My neighbor's dog is quiet. It does not bark one bit. But when my neighbor's dog is near, <gasps> I feel afraid of it. My neighbor's dog looks nasty. It has a wicked smile before my neighbor painted it. So I hope you enjoyed visualizing that or picturing it in your head and put it on paper. This one is number two. Can't wait to see what you come up with, friends. Bye.